Hey there, YouTube. How's it going? Surreal Canine here with more Disguise 4 Promise Revisited. The last set of character demos was the core Hades party. Six characters that we unlocked through the story. Next up, we are going to do the early extra characters. That is, uh, anybody you can unlock without having to, uh, be, like, over level 2000 or exploring the other timelines and stuff. We are going to do these guys. So yeah. <clears throat> Our first new party member is... Rutil. Now, Rutil and Stella, you need uh, save data from Disguise 3 Absence of Detention in order to unlock them. They are exclusive to the uh, Vita version of this game. And you need to pass the bill Hades Field Trip for 100 mana. That being said, Rutil here, uh, I'm in the wrong menu. <clears throat> Rutil uses swords, spears, and axes. Uh, let me look at her thing. That is, that is not accurate at all. <laughs> game, game, I think you goofed. Uh, what Rutil actually does is she learns six tiers of the fist skills and four tiers of axe skills. She also learns five tiers of healing skills as well as espoir. That being said, her aptitudes here, you can clearly see they favor attack and speed, which makes her primarily a fist user. Her abilities are about the same as they were in Disguise 3. Let me uh, pull them up real quick. Ring of Friends uh, increases her stats per ally linked by adjacency. This might also be affected by enemies. I have not tested that for sure. Let's Do This raises her stats by 50% after she is healed or buffed. Homing Instinct uh, returns monster units to the base panel after a magic change times out. Are those the only abilities she learns? Let me get in the shop. It's not where I wanted to go, game. My ability shop is uh, kind of out of the way here. And I could just go to Land of Carnage, I guess, but... Uh... What? There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. There. Uh, that's that bit of embarrassment taken care of. Alright, so Rutil apparently only learns two abilities. In addition to her core one. That's fine. Let's go to the, uh, let's go to our testing grounds and check it out. Takoyaki, yeah. You can definitely tell what kinds of foods uh, Rutil likes. Oh yeah, a Ring of Friends definitely buffs her when she's adjacent to enemies. Okay. So yeah, maybe another game breaker if you can get her on a map with a lot of guys all clustered together. Alright, Kitty Cat Copter. F level. Hits all around her. It's the Tatsumaki Senpu Kyaku. Pretty cool. And she just kind of wrecked everybody before I had a chance to show off her other skills. Let's go back in! This is my best move. Catly Rave, a C-level attack. Uh, 
Not quite as strong as Master Palm, but that's fine. Her infinite combo. <laughs> Yeah, let's try and avoid a counterattack, why don't we? I beg your pardon. Get Stella out of the way here so we can show off. Cat God cometh. B level, star element, uh, definitely our strongest move. Very ugly cat. So yeah, uh, do not underestimate the power of ceiling cat, I guess. <laughs> Let's finish you and move on to the next person. Next person is Stella. Again, along with Rutil, you unlock her by having Disguise 3 save data and passing the Hades Field Trip bill. Stella is uh, probably the best debuffer you're going to have for a little while. Uh, she's very useful for that because her presidential heir uh, steals 25% well, it doesn't steal. It debuffs adjacent enemy, adjacent units, whether they're allies or enemies. It debuffs them by 25% and buffs her by 25%. So, uh, if you surround her with other units, you can uh, boost. You can just double her stats, no problem. Heat depression decreases fire affinity by 30% for everybody. As you can see, she naturally has a very high fire. Uh, affinity. Uh, her int aptitude, though, uh, does not really make up. Uh, does not really uh, synergize well with her with this ability. Oh well. <laughs> As you can see, she's very high on HP and attack. As for her skills, Stella learns six sword skills and five spear skills. I'm not entirely sure why I made her a spear user, other than just I did not have any other spear users at the time. Which it did come in handy for one particular attack, or uh, one particular map that I remember. She also learns five tiers of fire spells. Whether that makes up for her uh, lack of int, I could not possibly tell you. As for her other abilities, Mighty Elements increase attack of elemental attacks by 30% of int. So, uh, if you put this on her and use uh, some of her special attacks, that might come in handy. But then again, it might not. I mainly used her as my uh, puppy paw stick user. <laughs> <clears throat> Just because she has a uh, special skill that is very good for it. Which let us show that off right now. I shall elegantly be rid of you. Bane Rose is F class, non elemental. This is elegant. Yeah, uh, this might present a problem for us. And again, it might not. Purgatory Ignition. E-Class, Fire-type, and it's got a pretty good area of effect.
That is some serious firepower. <laughs> Been a while since we've heard that line. <laughs> Finally, Flame Hazard. B class, fire type, and it's got a huge area of effect. This is what I use to duplicate all of those uh, accelerators and s sprinters and what have you. Way back when I was doing that. Let's show off the power of a salamander. Boo. So yeah, that is Stella. <clears throat> and now that we have uh, we've seen her uh, show up a little early, it's Fallen Angel Flan. You get Fallen Angel Flan in the post-game only for 100 mana. It's just a bill called I Want Fallen Angel Flan. She is uh, she is native to the PS Vita version, but on the PS3, you she was uh, pre-order exclusive. So, uh, yeah. Tough luck if you're on the PS3, I guess. As for her skills, she learns uh, six bow and gun skills, as well as the ninth tier bow skill. She also learns uh, only two tiers of healing spells, which is a little odd, but eh, I guess she was intended to be an early game character. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off her ability, her, her aptitudes. Uh, pretty okay all around. Her, uh, her abilities seem to favor bows and healing. Although I guess she could also use a gun, come to think of it. Yeah, that makes sense. As for her abilities, Healing Paradise doubles the effect, effect of healing magic to anybody on the map. Or any allies on the map, rather. Which guild increases her stats when a bunch of allies are equipped with staves? Love Field nullifies all instant death effects. So, uh, I guess that means it nullifies death blows. Natural Ophi Aura defends her against elemental attacks. Uh, it's a bit of a precursor to something Sicily will be very famous for in uh, the next game. But for now, she has this. As you can see, I did uh, not put a lot of effort into raising her stats. She's just, she's just kind of there. I mean, what can I say? I knew who my item world team would be. Also, this is uh, the wrong map. Oh well. We can count on her. As long as it's the early game. So yeah, Dragon Meow, also known as Durian Dragon Dranyago. It's the uh, spell she used to summon a dragon in the very first game. Except it was, uh, I guess, translated a little differently. So yeah, she just uh, summons a zombie dragon. Pretty cool. Next up. Holy Arrows. E-Class, uh, they very unwieldy area of effect here, or range and area of effect, but... I don't know. It could be useful for some things. And finally, Flonzilla. <laughs> C-Class, a pretty good area of effect here. Let's uh, get over here and show it off. He is such a dork. <laughs> Everybody loves Flan. Let's be real here.
Alright, let's finish you off and move on to the Extra Stage characters. You unlock the Extra Stage characters in the post-game. Each one uh, costs excessively more mana. They're a progressively higher level. And you unlock them by defeating them in their bonus stages. <coughs> First up. The Dark Hero, Axel! Who is, uh, oddly enough, not a character you recruited in the in the main story, even though he uh, kind of factored a lot into some of the chapters, especially the dreaded Chapter 6. Anyway, he's a Fist and Sword user. He learns 6 Sword and Fist skills, as well as the ninth tier Fist skill. His aptitudes favor Fists very plainly. He gets the Star Aura, which protects him from human attacks, and Entertainment Life, which nulls non-elemental special attacks if he's got low HP. So, uh, eh, put a weight on him, he becomes probably immune to Ball. <laughs> Who knows? His other abilities are... That was the wrong menu. Image Change. It switches his HP with his SP, and it switches his attack with his int. I don't know why you would ever want this on, really, anybody, but, uh... Maybe it could come in handy? I don't know. It's a mystery. Let's show off his specials. Just kind of making, a. Uh, Picking the wrong map all around here. I don't know. It's showtime! Showtime! First up, Celebrity Tackle! Let's go! Axel, are you using steroids? You're not even an athlete! What is the point of that? Aching Heart. D-class, said uh, okay range, single target. So awesome. Don't let me break your heart. Huh. Ready? He sure does like his special effects and also his lightning. Sadly, there is no lightning element in this game. Love Dynamite Special! It's a 3x3 three three attack. Uh, not really all that necessary when he has Big Bang, but you never know. It's White Tiger! There's pink. That's some stage dive you got there, Axel. <laughs> Alright, that's enough out of Axel because we have another flan. Archangel Flan is unlocked by clearing extra map 2. She learns 6 bow skills as well as a tier 9 skill. And she learns all 6 healing spells as well as Espoir. It's pretty cool. Her, uh, blah, 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 blah. Her abilities favor both bow... Well, primarily... Uh, her aptitudes favor primarily magic, although she could use a bow if you really wanted her to use a weapon. She got the, uh... Hang on. She has the same abilities as her Fallen Angel counterpart. So, yeah, make it out what you will, I guess. Let's just, uh, show off her specials now. I am told by Fox that, uh, 
that it has been revealed that uh, Disgaea 3 and 4 kind of take place in uh, parallel universes to Disgaea 1, 2, and D2 and 5. So uh, this flan is not in fact the same flan that became a fallen angel. I'm not sure how much of that I really want to believe, but uh, yeah, we just kind of showed off her uh, try draw meow without even trying. Flan, you are not allowed to counterattack with your staff. Let's be real here. Saint Arrow. Meh. Might have to, uh, I might have to throw our Flan. That should do the trick. Saint Arrow. So yeah, a little different from Holy Arrow, I guess. Rude Mr. Buddy. Finally, Great Flanzer X. Going to see her summon her super robot. <laughs> All we need is one fist. The Iron Fist of Love! Which uh, transitions into our next character. <laughs> it's Raspberry! Your buddy's favorite do goder from the Sky 3. Razbarrel is a monster class character that specializes in magic and magic changes to a sword. I think. See, her aptitudes very clearly favor magic. Her abilities are Love Thy Heart, which does extra damage to higher level enemies. Law by Range, which uh, turbos her SP usage in exchange for increasing her magic range. And Helping Hand, which decreases the damage on a uh, protecting ally. <coughs> Not qu quite sure uh, what that means exactly, though. <laughs> oh, well. Let's show off her skills. As you can see, she's got three different spells, all non-elemental, with uh, different areas of, of effect. Let's show them off. Morality! Those rings say a different thing every time. It's kind of neat. As you can see, she's got a pretty huge uh, range of attack with her magic here. I took advantage of that during the uh, X Dimension. Volunteer E level, a uh, okay area of effect. You know, with that book she's carrying around, the uh, barrel was kind of all set to, uh, to finally be a humanoid type, uh, unit in Disgaea D2, but that never actually happened. It's a little sad. Eco-Friend. Sea level, got an X-shaped area of effect, uh, though a bit stronger than, uh, than Mal's, uh, special. But, uh, yeah, she summons a Hydra. <laughs> a very poison Hydra. Coming. Why are you being bad for the environment? The... Uh, what's your face? Barrel. <laughs> Alright, let's magic change and uh, hope this printy does not wreck our face. So yeah, 
Wait, is that a, uh... Oh, it's a staff, okay. Well, alright. <laughs> Sorry, Etna. Alright, Imperial Cross. A sword skill, little what? I'm not really sure what to think about this barrel. Did they change your magic change type without consulting you? Is that what happened? Delta Extreme! Oh, well, whatever. That's barrel! Next up! Coming to you from Extra Stage 4, it is Etna the Nice Bodied. Anjana, what are you doing there? As you can see, she likes spears, axes, and guns, learning uh, four of each. Oh, yeah, also, Barrow. She learned six tiers of fire. Okay. Anyway, yeah, four each of spear, axe, and gun. Her, uh, her aptitudes here, uh, kind of favor, uh, spears and axes. That, uh, 120% defense. The spear is pretty nice. As for her abilities... <coughs> Dominant Smile buffs allied printies. Ecstasy increases her experience gain when, when she's part of a team attack. And Sadistic... Uh, deals 30% more damage to max HP enemies. So, uh, if you're trying to one-shot a guy, Etna is the unit for you. Let's show off her specials. Although, really, I'm expecting to be a, it to be about the same as it's, as it's always been. Yep, Pretty Raid, Sexy Beam, and Chaos Impact. Let's show them off. Sexy Beam has a very unwieldy heart-shaped area of effect. She has the uh, same Elder Spear she had in uh, Disgaea 2. I'm gonna have to throw you. Boing. Chaos Impact. Pretty rad. Next up, by clearing extra stage 5, you get Laharo, protagonist of Disgaea 1. He learns sword, spears, and axes. Sword and axe, he gets 6 skills. Spear, he gets 4. His, uh, his aptitudes here uh, favor swords and axes. Uh, spears, uh, to a lesser extent. It would be nice if he got some extra defense, but he's not going to benefit from his aptitudes. His abilities are as follows. 
Tyrant Soul raises special attack damage by 20%. Uh, very plain, but I mean, he was the protagonist of the very first game. What you gonna do, really? Furious Rage increases his attack every time a normal attack is received. Suppression Stare makes him take half damage from low HP enemies. So, uh, nothing especially useful, in other words. <laughs> Tyrant Soul is nice, but it could be something better. But whatever. We probably know what to expect from Laharo's specials, but let's show them off anyway. First up, Blazing Knuckle. Same thing it's always been. It's even fire type. I think we're gonna need more guys. Then again, maybe not. Overlord's Wrath. A slightly unwieldy area of effect. Uh, not as bad as Etna's, though. <laughs> Etna throws one star, Laharo throws a bunch of mini stars. It's pretty great. I'm surprised that isn't fire type. But, you know, whatever. Finally, Meteor Impact. It's a uh, kind of Laharl's signature skill here, besides Overlord Knuckle. You know, I'm pretty sure I've seen Sora do that exact move. Are you going to uh, start seeing Disgaea worlds in Kingdom Hearts? That could be a thing. <laughs> All right, finally, we have Asagi, the main character who can never find a game. Um, as you can see, she's only got two special skills here. That's uh, something. She likes bows and guns. She learns six of each, as well as the ninth tier gun skill. She also learns speed boost and target lock, which are, uh, which I have not bothered to teach her. Oh well. As for her abilities, we have Heroine's Dream, which uh, increases her stats per male ally unit. Sky High, which makes her a flying type. You can put this on anybody, and they will be just as good as a masked hero. Finally, Dead or Alive. As long as Asagi is on the map with this ability, uh, everybody crits all the time. It's kind of a thing. You can see from her aptitudes that she favors guns. Let's take her into battle. First up, Cameo Star. Ready for me? Can I uh, tell she's using the uh, ball and chain from Makai Kingdom here? Which was her, I believe, her debut game. She didn't show up into. Well, no, Disgaea 2. Makai Kingdom came out before Disgaea 2, so what am I talking about? Magic Shot. That ain't gonna work, Asagi. Gotta, gotta toss you somewhere else. Yeah, 
that's a pretty cool move, but there is more to Asagi than meets the eye. As you can see, she's kind of got a, a, a pixelated, standard definition, Disgaea 1, 2, and 3 style sprite. Let's take her to the Senate and see if we can change that. The NT Experience. Asagi transforms with her new technology. Go away. I don't care. Okay, well now I tear, but I can care, but I can just pay you guys off. The power of bribery. As you can see, we have a, a completely new Asagi now. Let's uh Let's take her to the land of Carnage, level her up a bit and uh, see what we can get out of this. First, I need to uh, place her adjacent to Tyrant Val, otherwise In she's not going to get anything. Let's see, where are you, Asagi? I can't see a thing. Off to the land of carnage. This is uh, going to be real quick, actually. Hi. I left my... Actually, I guess the wind might have blown my door open. <laughs> oh, well. That's got, not going to matter too much here. Let's see, decides to use the bathroom with the door open. Come on. Here I go. Whoops. Yeah, we don't care. We're skipping that. <laughs> Alright, Asagi should have more than enough uh, mana now for me to uh, get her abilities and all her other stuff. Yes, yes. Five, six, seven. So yeah, uh, same as before. Seven, uh, seven gun s skills, six bow skills and speed boost and target lock. But she's got a new set of abilities, as well as a new set of specials. So uh, let's head back to the normal dimension and uh, see exactly what else she is capable of. As you can see, she's got a nice new uh, high definition sprite. It's very cool. Assault Storm. A bit unwieldy. It's apparently F level. So, yeah, you can't have eight Asagi and HD Asagi together in the same map. It's just not a thing. Next up. Deadly Hurdle. D-Class, apparently. Might be interesting to see her in an XCOM game. <laughs> I don't know. This Gaia X Rabbids, Makai Wars! <laughs> nah. And Heroin Chant. She'll do anything to become the main character. My true power. It's 
to get her over here where she can actually do a thing. She's got that ball and chain again. Was that a different voice actor? I couldn't tell. Asagi! <laughs> Guess she's not gonna show us the kanji in her name. It's all katakana for this lady. So yeah, that is uh, all of our early act early post-game extra characters. Thank you all for watching. In uh, the next video, we are going to be going over the other uh, post-game characters. I hope to see you all then. Bye-bye for now.